25. Scientists say that they are now another step closer to resurrecting woolly mammoths. This is something you don't yeah. hear every day, but here we are. So the woolly mammoths went extinct about 4,000 years ago due to overhunting by humans. Recently, scientists discovered a strand of ancient mammoth DNA buried in northern Siberia. So the DNA is over 40,000 years old, but was so well preserved in the permafrost that they can actually copy it and combine it with Asian elephant DNA to start cloning new mammoths. Now, scientists say there's still a long ways to go, but this is an incredibly major step into bringing back extinct species. This is something that's going to be very interesting to watch. I mean, Chase has to get in on this. He's our I'm, science I'm trying guy. To I'm trying to fix the graphic real quick. Hold on. So, big debate. <laughs> that's why he's here. Woolly mammoth, like, is it in the dinosaur category or is it not? I feel like it should be. Yeah. But I, at the same time, yes. like, the direct descendant is the elephant. That's what I was just about to say, but with the elephant, I'm confused. And then there's the megalodon. Uh, it's. But looking at its I skeletal, skeleton structure, yeah. like, that, that looks dinosaur-esque. It's a, it's a Elisar. An Elisaurus? Yeah. <laughs> would it be crazy? Like, would I get canceled if I just say, I'm good without the woolly mammoths? I mean, like, just, I'm good without big animals like just, this. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. <laughs> exactly. That's my thing. So I don't know I think why the, we want to do this. The frustrating thing for me is like, this went extinct. It's been gone, but we can't save the rhinos that are, there's like Man. five left of certain breeds. Yeah. That's so true. Because, you know, you know th now the question is, what's going to be next? True. Something Everything. Lovely. Everything. Yep. Oh.